What's up guys, Milan here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can take off the black area from the iOS and or Android screen that you've recorded and make it a, make it have a cool effect, a blurry effect, and you're going to need QuickTime Player for your uh, recording and ScreenFlow to edit it. <laughs> So what you want to do is click on ScreenFlow, open it up, go to New Document. Uh, you can put the screen damage 1080p. I'm just going to do this for the sake of this video. Just click the little image, and you're going to want to import your media. So go to the Import Media Library, select Add Media, and do both of these. So just click Open. Then just drag these to your library uh, to your timeline. So once you've done that, just play it to check that it's all right and everything. Uh, you want to click the second one and make it bigger. So I just put it here and just just make it try, try to make it small at the beginning and then just stretch it out. You don't have to make small at the beginning, but just stretch it out. This will be kind of weird since I'm on my iPod, but once you've done that. You want to go in the um, action, the call out uh, selection, click add action, go on the square format, put the opacity up to 100%, the blur you want to put it to about 11, 11 is good, it's pretty, it's perfect actually, 11. And then you want to make the call out, which is the yellow part, you want to make it for the whole clip. And then you want to select your whole screen for the call out. So once you're done, just X out of it. And now you could play and you'll have a back a blur background. So thank you all for watching. That's going to be it for this tutorial. And goodbye, everybody. <laughs>